Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Brian with Coyote Tactical again. Got another little short review here today. Uh, I'm actually uh, going to be talking about a handgun holster. Um, and uh, like I said, these uh, these reviews are usually always budget friendly. So um, I wanted to show you guys this guy here. I got this on Amazon. This is the uh, Blackhawk Serpa Sportster holster. I guess the uh, holster itself was designed as a concealed carry uh, holster, but uh, it, you can obviously have it as open carry too. Here in Canada, we can't do concealed, and uh, Lord knows we can't even have a gun on us at all. So uh, off of a range, um, handguns, anyways. But uh, yeah, so th this guy here, uh, I got it on Amazon for like nineteen ninety nine, and uh, and so I was in I was intrigued. I've never I've never got to own one of the uh, paddle style holsters or the uh, Palmer one, sorry, but. Um, so yeah, let's dive right in here. Uh, this this is the holster itself. Uh, it comes in all different uh, uh, forms of for for every form of handgun. Uh, you get them for I've seen them for M and P's, Colt 1911s, uh, Smith and Wessons, the, the Glock series. Like this this one's designed for a Glock 19, a Generation Three. It would probably work for a Gen Four as well. Um, uh, yeah, they make them for Berettas, uh, Taurus. Yeah, you you name it. All, all your all your uh, uh, most common, you know, pistol, pistol markets. They make a they make a holster. Uh, they will the exact same sort of holster for that specific handgun. Um, pretty much one thing I can tell tell you right now. The one thing I like about it the most is the the fact that it trains you know the user, especially someone who's not used to drawing and kind of kind of using a handgun. It gets the user used to um, finger placement. Up here, you see this little groove here, and this is your pad. This is your release. So I'll show you right now. When, and this has been safety checked, by the way. Um, but when when you put the gun in its holster, uh, as you can see here, when you when you keep when you line your finger up, notice where it is. Here's your trigger. Here's your trigger guard down here. Notice where your finger placement is there. So when you push that button down, right, and then all of a sudden you go to draw, your finger placement is really nice. Like you're not you're not uh, you're not on a bad, like that's exactly that's exactly where you're supposed to be right there. You do not want your finger in that trigger guard and end up being like that YouTube guy who shot himself in the leg. I think we've all seen that. Um, but yeah, so and then even, so until you're ready to actually you know move your finger, uh, you got a really great finger placement, which is the most important part about uh, uh, learning how to draw a sidearm and everything like that. Um, but yeah, like it's it, this holster itself has got a nice positive. Click when when the handgun is uh, put back in it, and uh, in all honesty, um, it's not going anywhere either. This this thing, like you can yank on it and yank on it, and it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna take this back out, put that back over there. And uh, another the nice thing about this holster uh, is you got this thing here tight, like kind of sort. Of, I, I guess you could say it tightens the holster around your, your handgun. If it's too loose of a fit, um, then it, it'll tighten that up. Uh, on the back here, uh, when you first get the holster, there's a little bit of assembly required, just these three screws. Um, so it automatically has it so it's, it can be lined up uh, straight, but you can you can cant the uh, holster just just in case you like to you like to be able to draw from you know a canted position or a straight up position or even having it forward a little bit more for your your angled draw. So. But yeah, for, in all honesty, like I said, I, I got to keep this review short because I have really no 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 cons against this holster at all. Um, it was a little tight around my gun maybe when I first got it, but uh, after the gun's been in the holster for a little while and then, and then locked away, it's uh, it kind of, it's just seems you know it seems very, like it's formed around the pistol a bit. But uh, but yeah, and it and it also comes with two different types of. Uh, uh, ways to mount it like it comes with the pieces you can mount it onto your molly webbing platforms uh, so you can have it on on your uh, your plate carrier or your, or your uh, vest and uh, but I like this little paddle because this paddle just slips in over your uh, over into your pants so the paddle kind of goes into your pants and this stays on the outside and uh, it's a very you know if we were allowed conceal carry here in Canada this would be a great conceal carry holster um, but this also makes a great range holster as well. Uh, you know, you tuck your shirt in, you just open carry it on, on the range, you know, where, where it's legal. Then, uh, yeah, you know, I definitely suggest this. I have had this for a couple months now and 
Oh, honestly, for a nineteen dollar or a twenty dollar holster, uh, I got nothing bad to say about it at all. So if you if you can find uh, yourself one of these holsters, you know, it might range a little bit pricier now. I got it a couple months ago on sale, but um, yeah, well, I'd say probably about you know twenty to thirty dollar holster. You really can't go wrong. It's a it's a good little good little piece. So yeah, if you have the extra pocket change and you're thinking about something like this, I definitely I definitely wouldn't hesitate. And uh, like I said, it's a budget friendly option and. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll be posting some more reviews later on shortly. Um, like I said, go and get one of these if you have the chance, uh, and uh, stay tuned for the rest of the week, because I'm going to be um, uh, doing a few more reviews here. i got a lot of catching up to do from the last pretty much year that I missed of, of doing these reviews and such. So, But, yeah, uh, I can definitely thank you guys very much for watching, and stay tuned, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care.